Hi everyone, it's Wendy. Um, I'm going to start working on the video for how to make, how I make a recipe album out of a recycled three ring binder. Now, um, this one I got at a local thrift store called City Thrift. It was actually on sale. So, don't have to buy new, because you're going to rip it apart anyway, so why buy new when you can re reclaim one? So I got this, and it's approximately eight and three-eighths by ten and a half, and the spine that's on here is showing to be about three inches. I'm, I'm thinking I'll increase that by half an inch. And these rings are the, what they call D rings and they are two inches. Um, the paper line I'm using is called TV Dinner. It's um, a scrapbook kit from Cosmo Cricut. I have no clue where I got it from. Yes, I do. Tuesday morning. <laughs> I had to look here. Tuesday morning. Um, and the nice thing is it comes with uh, this pad here, which I believe is an 8x8. Eight eight. Yes, it comes with an 8x8, eight eight, so 12x12. There's also some buttons, some stickers, and these are some fabric stickers. So, plenty of things to decorate with. And based on my experience with my first one, um, I think I'm just going to make eight pages, but because they're going to be large pages, I can do, I can do multiple pockets. That makes sense. But first we get to have fun. <laughs> um, you could leave it and cover it, but you know what? Um, it just is a lot more fun to take it apart. So the first thing I do is take the pieces apart. Almost. Um, I'm thinking this one's going to be fairly simple to Take a part. If you hear the TV in the background, it's because I have to have some sort of noise in the background. Oh, this isn't chipboard at all. Huh, interesting. It's corrugated cardboard. All right. Well, let's see. If need be, I've got lightweight chipboard I can add to it. So the basic thing is you take it apart, take off all this stuff, um, try and get it as clean as possible.
be careful when you use them. Craft knife. I think I will add a layer of lightweight chipboard to this. Because it is And really the only reason why I'm keeping this corrugated cardboard rather than just putting using my own chipboard is because of the of the spine thing. Alright, so I'm going to pause the video, take the covering off of these two pieces. When I come back, I'll show you how I do this one. Um, normally, I wouldn't do anything with the spine because I'm going to remake it. But I just wanted to know how thick it was and also how wide it was. Um, because I'm going to add probably half an inch to the spine and see it's like two and three quarters it's about an eighth of an inch wide so I've got most of this off um, like I said I'm going to put down a layer of lightweight chipboard as well uh, just to kind of protect uh, the cardboard in here. See, I kind of got a little enthusiastic here. All right, so now for this side. This side can be a little trickier. Um, due to the fact that you have these here as well as this. Um, I'm just looking to peel off. There we go. This can be very satisfying, by the way. <laughs> um, if you had a rough day, I, I kind of suggest being destructive on a three ring binder. So, again, I'm going to do the same thing. Try not to take off the uh, cardboard. All I'm doing here is I'm making a slit. Ooh, that's nice. Sometimes you get lucky. I think I just got a little bit lucky. So again, it's the same thing, just getting it down as far as you safely can. Without destroying the cardboard or the chipboard, whatever is here. Now, I'm 
And you notice I'm kind of slicing along the side here in order to open it up a little. Excuse me. <coughs> and it did wrap this. And it's got several layers on it. Excuse me. I can't drink. All right, before I pause until I, um, the big thing is to make sure you get as much out from underneath as you can. Tweezers are good. Sometimes you, sometimes you can use, if you have a Cricut, You want to get as much off as you can. Um, so I'm going to pause it here. When I come back, I'll have this ready. All right, I'm back. Um, I got it peeled as good as it can. Now, because this was covered with paper, um, you're not going to get it perfect if, I mean, if you really wanted to, you could take out the things and use chipboard, but I don't see a need for that. Put up my tools. All right. So this is lightweight chipboard. Um, cut it eight and a quarter. by ten and a half. Take off inch and a half. This is a new cutter for me. And I'm not sure I like it. Cuts great, but I think because it's new and I'm not used to it. All right. Eight and a quarter. I'm going to have to get another piece. I'm going to cut three pieces at eight and a quarter by ten and a half. All right. You go, wait a minute, you got four sides. Yes, I do. I'm going to piece this side um, simply because I don't want to waste my chipboard 
and it's going to be covered anyway, so it won't matter. Um, so what I'm going to do right now is just lay down some glue. You get to have a little fun with your glue. This is going to be covered anyway, so um, just like that on this side. enough to hold it. And by doing this too, especially when you have uh, corrugated cardboard in there, um, it gives a little more stability. So now we're going to put this on the back of this. And yes, we will cover up these. So I am going to put a little more glue right there. I know I could take off my fine tip and do that. But all right, so we're going to put this on, lay that down. Now, the reason why I'm not going to cut a full piece is because this actually has to be pieced in. So, here I need approximately 7 eighths of an inch. Take off an inch and a half. I'm going to use my smaller bottle, it's filled. <laughs> happened to catch the uh, thing that was on the back of this before I tore it off. And this was actually a Walmart, or not a Walmart, Hallmark piece. All right, now I'm going to take one of my wider pieces. I'm going to cut it down to ten and a half, and then I'm going to do a little fitty. <laughs> Why I okay. So what I'm gonna do is an inch. Do an inch and an eighth down and an seven eighths of an inch. Okay. There is a method to my madness. Okay. So 
I'm going to measure an inch and an eighth. And then I'm going to measure 7 eighths of an inch. Whoops. On both sides. So an inch and an eighth. And then 7 eighths of an inch. And I'm going to cut this off. I'm going to do a dry fit. Whoops. I did it wrong. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. You see it bloopers at all. All right. I cut the wrong side. So an inch and an eighth on both sides. Then between these two lines here, you're going to cut 7 eighths of an inch off to start. And I'm going to use my craft knife for this. Oops. Shame it doesn't. And I'm just going to cut and it's always better to do several shallow strokes than one deep one, even though this is lightweight chipboard. All right, let's see if I did it right this time. Let's do a dry fit. As you can see, I need to widen this out just a little bit. So I'm just going to go in and cut on the other side of my marks. And this is why you dry fit to make sure. a little bit more. <clears throat> Cut that off straight at all. <clears throat> if you're worried about it being crooked, then use your uh, da, 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 da. Um, okay. Now you see that fits pretty darn good. Got a little wide over here, but that's okay because, like I said, we're going to have paper come up and it will be um, slid underneath so that this should not show. Okay. 
Actually. I'm just going to widen this one side just a little bit. It's almost there. I am going to shave off an eighth of an inch. Because I want that to fit as close as possible. Okay. Perfect. There we go. See? All right. So let's glue this on. Yes, you could have done it with one piece. But, like I said, I don't want to waste my chipboard, even though it is lightweight. I can always raid my cupboard to get some, but right now I don't feel like emptying um, cracker boxes. We've only got one cracker box anyway, so right now. Oh, actually, we got more than that. We got two. Okay. If you're worried about it around the binder part, you can always add score tape right there. Now, this piece will just fit. Okay, so I'm going to take off an inch and a half. Gonna measure this to make sure. It's a little over three and five eighths. <clears throat> so what I'm gonna do is take this to three and five eighths, and I'm gonna move it over one little tick. Um makes it a sixteenth and I can't remember what it is. Mm. Okay. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Three and ten sixteenths. <laughs> I probably have some in my math. Alright, that for some reason is cut short. All right, since it's going to be hidden anyways, I'll just cut a little piece for it. And like I said, you may not have to do this to um, the other ones, the other binders that you have. Um, this was from, like I said, it was from Hallmark. So was cheaply made and that's probably why they went with the corrugated cardboard three-eighths of an inch and so when you use a regular three ring binder, you may not have to do this adding um, the adding of the lightweight chipboard like I have here. 
Okay. Three and ten sixteenths. Sixteenths, one of the two. All right. Okay. So we have a little more solid base on here. That's why I'm adding the chipboard, the lightweight chipboard, is just to give it a little more solid base. Um, so let me throw away the stuff I'm not keeping. Good thing tonight I put trash out because I've, I've gotten a lot of trash. All right. <clears throat> so the next thing is the spine. Now, when it was covered, it was three inches. Uncovered, it's like two and seven eighths. I, however, I'm going to make it bigger. I got some scrap card board, cards or chipboard here, um, and I'm gonna have to pile it up so that it equals that. But I want it to be, if that's two and seven eighths, basically three. See, this is three and a half, perfect size. I wonder if I got more of that size. Nope. Let's see. Well, there's two of them. <laughs> All right. So I have to, it's going to take approximately three pieces of this to equal this, to equal this. So I know I need to cut this to ten and a half. I'm going to double check that. You know what they say. Measure twice, cut once. Ten and a half. Okay. Normally I use my other trimmer. I really should because that won't cut through it. It won't quite. Yes, I have different trimmers for different things. This is my chipboard trimmer. So ten and a half. I'm going to use this white because it's a little thinner. Wonder. My bag of chipboard scraps. <laughs> you never know when you need them. All right, let's take these three, stack them up. Well, that's pretty close. Okay, so. Like I said, if you have a normal um, three-ring binder with chipboard inside, 
you won't have to do this. I'm just doing this because I have the corrugated cardboard inside. And I want my spine just a little bit um, stiffer and a little bit taller. So I'm making it half an inch taller. Or wider, I mean. Same, it's the same tallness, but it's, um, yeah, that's good. Um, but the width of it, if you look, it's half an inch wider. All right. I'm just getting them aligned. All right. So we got that done. All right. Now, um, for this paper, I gotta decide if I want craft or black. I'm kind of leaning towards the black. Because I think it would make these colors pop. So, yeah, black. When I do my um, recipe albums, I um, usually do them in the craft or the black. And I usually use Hobby Lobby's craft or black. Um, sometimes I do have to use Michael's. And I think that's what I've got right now. What's up, that? Okay, I'm going to use um, Michael's. Oh, wait a minute. No, I'm going to use. Pardon me. I'll use this because. At least to uh, cover the cover. Um, once we get the cover covered, I'll take a I'll take a break, and part two will be doing the pages. Okay. Ooh, I got a free piece of chipboard. Ha ha! I love it. Um, like I said, I usually use a Hobby Lobby's Black and Craft, um, they're cream and they're white. I use Michael's if I can't get Hobby Lobby's. I don't like Joanne's. Um, I've had issues with it in the past. Okay. So... What I am going to do, just to see, is I'm going to lay these out. My spine will be in the middle. I'm going to lay these out and see if I have enough room. Yes, two of them will work. Yay! <clears throat> you don't want to see what I did on my first one. I was piecing paper together. <laughs> um, simply because I didn't have paper big enough. Um, so. 
So I figure so long as I can have at least three quarters of an inch. I prefer an inch, but I'm willing to work with three quarters. So I'm just going to put these together and yes I'm doing a quarter inch overlay. Let me make this so I can have my, this is why you like a mat with rulings on it. Oh I use three eighths of an inch, that's right. That's all right. Okay. Let's give that a good burnish so it doesn't come apart. All right. Now, I know I have three quarters of an inch on the top and the bottom. Oh, before I wrap that up, there's something else we got to do before we wrap it. <clears throat> because we deconstructed it, um, I like to use Tyvek. I've got a friend, well, my sister and another friend work in offices and they get these express mail things. So they give them, they give the used ones to me. So I hope I'll take this to approximately ten and a half. And this is six inches wide. Yeah, this is six inches wide. So that's why that one's good. <clears throat> Just gonna I add this to add a little more stability to it because we took it apart and now we're putting it back together again. Um, so I'm doing approximately an inch and a half. Once I get it straight, <laughs> um, oh, wait a minute, this is three and a half. Okay, so an inch and a quarter on each side. All right, now I do put normally I would put a quarter inch, but I'm going to put a three eighths of an inch separation. And that's what I use my 3 8 inch score tape to do, is to give me that separation line. Okay. And then I'm going to take this tape, my half inch, and put it on this side, on each side. Now, yeah, I use glue to glue this to this. But I'm using, because we're going to deal with pressures and a um, whole bunch of other things, um, I use tape to put it on. And I add tape here. It's almost like making a mini album, just not well, a little bit like it. Um, but because I don't 
because my this is attached to this page. I don't have to um, reinforce my spine as much as I would with a mini album. All right. So I attach this side first. Lining it up. And I probably could have gone a little wider on my tie back, but that's okay. It's whatever you feel comfortable with. There we go. Thick. So. Oh, come on. doesn't come off one end, try the other end. There you go. All right, so that's done. See, it's put back together again. Yay! Let me take this and put it in my chipboard. It's a bunch of blocks on my chip. Scraps. All right. So now we need this. All right. Some people will score a line um some people eyeball it. I'm going to Mark it. And I'm not going to mark the sides because um, I don't know how much I'll have left after I finish. Okay. So I've got that marked. Now. I want this to stick, so I'm bringing out the big gun. This is, oops, I think this is an inch. Yep, and I use it just on spines. This is where um, non-stick scissors come in handy. And I'm just going to place three of these here. And I'm getting it as close to the fold as I can. And then I'm going to do the same thing on this side, whoops, um, next to the fold. On both sides. And the reason I'm doing that is because you're going to bend it. And I also do it on the inside as well. I'm not too concerned about um, it being right up to the edge, but I am. I do want some near the cover things. Okay. 
and I place. And I could use, I've got some score tape sheets I could use. Now that I'm doing this, I'm not going to stop. And I'm going to use some glue in between so it doesn't pucker. There we go. If you don't want to use glue in between, you can use um, ATG. Uh, you could go score tape. Crazy? All right. So, scissors. Now, I'm going to buff this. Sorry if I'm out of camera. I'm going to buff this. I'm going to take off square tape bits. For the, if you notice I got a little, I'm just going to fold that in. Some people say, oh, no, 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 you got to cut it right off the sides. Size, you can't have it overhang. Well, it's not going to overhang. There. All right. So I'm going to take this. I've got my paper down. I'm going to turn it the right way so I know. All right, I'm going to lay it on that line in one fell swoop and press. <clears throat> Whoops. I really shouldn't have pressed that. All right, I'm a little off on the top. <sighs> Okay, so you're seeing what I go through. I think it's getting life right. And to me that's uh, because these are ten and a half, and you've got the thickness of the um, corrugated cardboard in there. So I'm going to relay my tape. Some of you are probably going, oh no, she's wasting tape. Well, things happen. And I'd rather do it this than have it crooked and not be able to lay it right. <clears throat> kind of surprised I don't have a visitor. For those of you who watch me, you know, I have a uh, polydactyl cat named Mittens, and it seems like whenever I um, tape, she has to come in for a visit. Actually, I am going to go with quarter inch. She usually comes in to get treats because she gets specific treats in here and she gets other treats out in the other parts of the house. <clears throat> Reminds me I have to go buy Poppy some Poppy treats for the craft room. Yes, they get, Poppy gets specific treats. She gets, um, <clears throat> Oh, 
Oh, Apple Variety Snaps in Mommy's Craft Room. Um, out the rest of the house, if she gets a treat, it's usually a milk bone or um, teeth cleaning treat. There we go. Let's try this again. I dropped my. Ah! Everything's proper. And I gotta clean my craft room. Let's try this again. So I'm gonna have three fourths of an inch. You know, I went and bought myself another Tim Holtz ruler. I've got one that, um, the markings have kind of worn off. <clears throat> you can still use it, but some of the markings have worn off. So that's why I bought a second one. Well, I thought, you know, I kind of want to have one that I keep in my travel work tote, which is the tote I take with me when um, I go, oh, to my sister's, um, when I go do craft fairs. I bring along my work tote so I can work on stuff. <clears throat> All right. I'm going to lay this out to begin with. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to pull it up. There we go. As long as I have my seam on my spine and it's not near um, any of the where it that it bends, it's good. So I'm not looking to, I try and have it as near the middle as I can. So I'm going to hold this bottom, lay that out. Just kind of So I can just roll this like that. And then I can fold this up and just fill the tape. That's the easiest way I found to do this when you're working with something like this because it is so large. Um, don't even take the backing off the tape get a position where you want it and then just kind of do the spine first and then do the rest. Okay. I'm happy with that now. <laughs> okay. So now I'm going to do an inch on each end. And yeah, it looks weird to do it this way, but that's because it's so thick. Whoops, sorry guys. Didn't mean to do that. Okay, got your back. So all I'm doing is um, cutting an inch from the edge of the, um, it's not cardstock, it's not chipboard, it's cardboard. 
um, I should just use my rotary cutter, but that's okay. There we go. All right. So that's on five eighths. Mm. I use this the half inch. So I am going to tape here. Now the nice thing about this one is on a lot of your three ring binders you only have a little space, you know, like that much. Um, this one has more space. So I think I should have gone with five eighths on each side, but that's all right. I'll make it work. And yeah, you can do that so that you can work with it. Because what until you get it totally bound, it's a big project. Done. There we go. Now, <clears throat> now I could have taken and pieced together some more paper on here so that I would have wider. Um, ends here but but I mean it's like I would have needed maybe two more inches of paper. And I could have done it. Whoops. That's not good. that I would have an inch on all four, but now let's now I'm trimming this out quite farther than usual simply because it is so, so thick. And I'm eyeballing it. I do have the perfect trim roller, but all right, I'm gonna add some extra tape. And normally I would just go straight across, but because I have that 3 8 inch gap, I'm not going to. And this is just added security. Okay. Now I need. Why is it I always lose stuff? I mean, looking right at it. Okay. I'm 
I'm not going to take this tape all the way out. I'm just going to take part of it out or lift it up a little ways. But with the gap I have there, it wouldn't make a difference. Um, get done wrapping this I'm gonna go have some fish okay <clears throat> something else that was suggested and I'm gonna do it on this because it is such a big project is to place some glue right here And that's just because it is such a wide, it is such a thick piece. Okay. I'm also going to take off those. To make sure that it doesn't get caught up. Okay, well, let's see if this works. <laughs> Do the center first. And then I wrinkles in there. That's all right. As long as I can get them near the edge, they'll be covered. All right. So I got that side done. Whew. Okay. Let's get this tape off before I apply the glue this time. Whatever. <laughs> you gotta have fun when you're crafting. You take it too seriously. And I'm just kind of smearing it on the edge. Because that's going to help that paper stay there. Okay, so here we go. Let's go on this side first. There we go. There you go. Smooth that out just a little bit. Okay, we got two sides done. <coughs> so now we're going to go like this. I'm going to do this side first simply because. Um, it's easier. I don't know why I'm doing that. Um, now I'm going to put the glue on the edge of the cardboard and the um, cardstock. I'm going to fold in my ends.
and pray. Oh, good. That worked well. All right, so let's do the other side. It's a good thing I cut, didn't cut them as shallow as normal um, because this is thick. This ends up being about a quarter of an inch thick. So, whoops, come on now, he should be coming up. Whoops, I got glue on my thing, on my bone folder. Okay. Oh. <laughs> when I'm doing, even during the last one, I was like, oh gosh, am I going to be able to cover it um, and everything. And as you can see, you can. So now I'm going to take off this. I'm going to grab a couple more sheets cardstock. So, <clears throat> where did I put my ruler? <laughs> there it is. All right. So, this is longer than 12 inches. So, I am going to do two pieces. I'm going to have another seam running down here. And the reason for that is because of these. So, I got to quit saying so, so much. So I'm going to cut a piece that is ten and a half. By ten and a quarter. Take off an inch in your hand because that will make a 12 by 12 inch side turn. Yeah. And then I need to take off an inch and three quarters because that will make it 10 and a quarter. You never thought math would come in handy. Okay. Um, so you can see that will fit approximately halfway. Now, I'm going to place tape again. Here at the um, spine joints. And I'm going to do both sides while I'm at it. I'm just going to place one big piece down the center here. And the reason why I'm using the score tape instead of the glue is simply because um, hopefully this will get a lot of wear. And I want to make sure the paper stays. So I'm going to place a couple of pieces here and one more here. I will put a glue around the edge
other paper. Again, dry, do another dry fit. Excuse me. It was not intended. Oh, this guy will just wait. It's hard when you got black on black. Glue. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, I'm going to square tape that. And before I go much further, I got to reach down. forgot. I still got glue on it. All right, so I'm burnishing these down so that they kind of stick. Um, I'm not expecting them to stick stick totally right now. Okay, so the reason why I put this, I went with score tape, I mean, you could do glue if you want it. And I put it on the wrong edge. It's all right. Make it work. See, I don't fret about the mistakes because there's no reason to. You just go with them. Actually, that's going to help me get this corner down. All right. So I'm going to do that. I'll burnish it down. Then all I have to do is lift and remove. You notice I don't remove it all and do it. I, because that way I can verify that it's correct. Though with it being black on black, I'm not going to notice. They're going to be hard. It's going to be hard to see unless they're really compulsive. Okay, With that. Let's pull this one out. Whoops. And that sometimes happens when you take your tape off the way I'm doing it. Um, the paper will break. You just got to go in. With this thing. <laughs> Basically what's happening is, is my paper's breaking. because I'm not holding it at the right angle. There we go. Okay. So that part's done. Work on this. Now, 
we next need a piece right here. And it looks like two and seven eighths will do it. By ten and a quarter. Oops. Okay. <laughs> I I set stuff on my lap. All right, sorry about that. My camera's giving me fits. All right. So that is better. Just widen this just a little. On both sides. But as I was saying, the drainage gives me fits. And it will continue for a couple weeks after the affection has been cleared. It's going to take some time <clears throat> because I want it to fit right and I know some people say, well, just piece it together. Well, I am piecing together, but I don't want to piece together more than I have to. Ooh. You know what? 
Okay, that one's okay. This one needs a little more trimming. <laughs> it eventually gets there. And I'm not taking a lot off each time I do it. I'm just taking off a little bit. Because um, I won't want to do this a fourth time. <laughs> I'm so close. Visitor. Hi, Mittens. What do you want? Hmm? Did you come to say hi? No, you came to sit on my project. <laughs> you know what? I think that's good. Right there. Okay. Believe me, this is the hardest part is covering the book. Now, <coughs> excuse me, let mama finish this and then she'll give you treats. Is that all right? Huh? You're sitting on my ruler. I am using score tape on this so it doesn't come up. Oops. I'm gonna go on this side. Mittens, you sit so pretty. You know how in pageants uh, the girls stand with their feet? Well, she does it. <laughs> You're not going to let anybody see anything, are you? Let me finish this and then I'll give you a good treat. Okay? Go out to the living room. Go. Come on. Come on. Poppy, you go too. Come on. All right, you two. 
They get along very well, though at times they do fight like <coughs> sisters. And of course, when Poppy hasn't been to doggy daycare in a while, she really gets cranky. So yes, I'm taping this one. One thing, because I work too darn hard <laughs> to get it. Put a couple big pieces. Almost done, almost done, yay! Like I said, this is the hardest part. Um, in reality, I mean, when you make a normal mini album, it, the cover is not that hard. But because you've got the rings here, um, you've got an unusual shape. You know, it just, it takes time. And okay, I'm just going to take off the one end, turn this around. Oops, sorry guys. Make sure my tape is folded in. I'm going to place that side first. Okay. Once you get that one end down, all right. Okay. I should have done this in the beginning. A little. Okay. <clears throat> I wonder. Okay. That's where decorate decorating comes in handy. Let's get all this tape off. Okay. There we go. Got it. Finally.
Um, tip, if you cut that, use your craft knife to, knife to cut around it after you get it sealed down. And that would take care of all the issues I had. But there. We've got um we got the cover done. <laughs> Let's put it this way. The cover is done. Um just took about two and a half hours. But like I said, that's the hardest part because you gotta take off all the other stuff and then you gotta cover it and that it looks really nice now though when you look at it. So, all right, uh, I'm going to stop and take a break and I'll, I'll do another video um, on how I did the pages. So we'll see you in a few.